Hello everyone, and in today's video we are going to be going over our weather update which will include tropical weather as well as potentially some severe weather and major pattern changes. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Here is the National Hurricane Center outlook. We have a small area of interest in the southwestern Caribbean, which has a 30% chance of development in the next seven days. The Caribbean should watch this closely and monitor its progression. Here's my unofficial forecast made with next-gen weather. A broad and loosely organized area of low atmospheric pressure is anticipated to develop over the southwestern Caribbean Sea over the next few days. This region of low pressure may serve as a vocal point for potential tropical development given the favorable conditions, although it's in its early stages. This currently is over very warm waters with minimal vertical wind shear, so there is some potential for uh, cyclogenesis, the formation of a tropical cyclone, as we approach the latter part of the week. However, conditions only appear marginally supportive in the immediate future. Nonetheless, this is something we have to keep our eye on throughout the next week or so. Looking at our satellite this morning, we are looking for potential organization in convective energy in this area going over the next couple days in the southwestern Caribbean. The ensembles do show a strong signal for some relatively minor tropical development across the Caribbean. It shouldn't be much for the United States, it should go out to sea, but the Caribbean islands and Central America should keep a close eye on the progression of the storm. The United States will hopefully not have to deal with the tropical development because this trough is going to be hopefully providing wind shear and pushing these systems to the east and they will just head out into the middle of nowhere in the Atlantic. The Caribbean will either way have to worry about these potential tropical systems, unfortunately. Looking at the jet stream, we are going to be in a very active weather pattern across the Pacific Northwest but also across the plains and some of the Midwest. As you can see here, we're going to be having a huge trough, which will be giving plentiful moisture from the Gulf of Mexico in front of it. This will be the warm sector, will be providing very warm, moist air for severe weather. Cold uh, air from Canada will be conflicting with it, potentially causing severe weather from Texas to Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. And this will be the uh, very significant weather pattern over the next week or so, where we will be seeing these troughs with warm, moist air ahead of it, cold air behind it, potentially causing some severe weather for the plains and for the Midwest. Something very significant could happen in November if this were to play out. Represented by the blues and the greens, you can see that plentiful gulf moisture coming in. You can see where that colder, drier air is back behind it in the brown. Very sharp cold front back behind the warm sector. At times, potentially very unstable air across the plains, providing ample energy for severe thunderstorms. Precipitation totals will be significant. Looking at the precipitation over the coming days, as you can see here, very significant moisture going on across the Pacific Northwest, potentially some high elevation snow with this weather pattern. Now, as you can see here, we get our storm to set up. We get our initiation of potentially a severe weather event uh, across the plains and into some of the Midwest. And this is going to be a very, very moisturous storm. The moisture from the Gulf of Mexico will allow for these storms to potentially bring very heavy rain, but also potentially some robust updrafts leading to significant severe weather. This system could potentially bring very significant snowfall totals across the Pacific Northwest. On day three, we have a marginal risk for severe weather from Kansas, up to Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Then on day four, there is decently high confidence for some potentially very significant and widespread severe weather. Heading a little bit further out though, mostly predictability too low, there's less confidence in the organization for severe weather, but there could be very heavy rains across the plains and Midwest with potentially some robust storms nonetheless. Over the next six to 10 days, we are going to be looking at a tremendously warm 
and moist weather pattern across the eastern two-thirds of the country, but it could be a little bit colder in the west. Moisture from New Mexico and Texas up to Oklahoma and Kansas will be plentiful. Then looking into early November, we're going to still be seeing this overall very warm and wet period of weather. Looking in a little bit higher resolution on the NAM model over the next 60 hours, you can see that it's going to be very wet across the Pacific Northwest with spotty showers and high elevation snow being on the forecast. Although this might not provide much relief from the historic drought out in the Ohio Valley and into the Appalachian Mountains, but let's hope that this does provide some relief for the Plains and the Midwest. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and also share this video to those who might be impacted by this system.